guys, welcome to Bad Tabletop Gaming. Me and Armin are having a game. This is our second time on the channel. Second time? Yeah. Second together? Time. Yeah, together. Yes, together. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's my Dark Angels versus his Alpha Legion. We're going to find out who the real traitors are. We know who the real traitors are, but well, that's... We know who the real loyalists <laughs> are. You're the traitor. The Alpha Legion are the loyalists. <laughs> so, uh, we're doing his own Mortalis. Uh, yeah. 1250. Yep. Yeah. Um, I've got my Dark Angels as... Stayed before, you've got your Alpha Legion. Yep. And I'm attacking your base. That's right. So somehow, uh, mm -hmm. Lionel Johnson has gotten some intelligence, mm -hmm. which he's really good at doing. Yeah, he is. And he found an Alpha Legion base, and we have something. I, I don't, it doesn't matter what. Mm -hmm. I think and, I'm trying to blow uh, up the Prometheus. That's right. You're trying to, that's right. He's trying to destroy it. Yeah. So um, we'll go over the map, or we'll actually show you the map right mm -hmm. now. But uh, the objective here for him, for the Dark Angels, mm. is uh, three things. He's got the glaive in the middle, which is not powered, that he has to destroy. Yep. And then the Promethean pipes and here. the, um, what would you call that, generator, whatever you want to call uh, it. Storage tank. Storage tank, yeah. yeah. So we have a couple of rules for it. Yeah. Uh, the glaive itself in the middle is, act so if he does, if you destroy them, you get yep. one point. Yes. Um, if I, if they survive, I get a point. Yep. So... Uh, the glaive itself is a glaive, as is 12 hull points. 12 hull points, yeah. Um, if he does destroy it, mm. uh, we'll roll on the chart, yeah. and uh, it will explode uh, and scatter a little bit, so do some damage. Yeah, it will. Yep. Um, I don't actually think we should make it scatter. What no, I think, think it should stay where it is. Because it's just powered and yeah, it's just unpowered, powered. and yeah. so yeah. The Promethean pipes mm. and the generator there are a little bit different. What's going to happen there is you have to control it. Yep at the end of your turn. Yes. And what that does is he's placed uh, explosives there. Yeah. So now he has until the end of his next turn, mm. it will explode. So that does a couple of things. Yeah. One, it allows him to move out of the way yeah, if he so chooses. Yeah. Yeah. And if he doesn't choose, he can just sit there. It mm. gives me also an entire turn to contest it. Mm. So if I get into contact with it, whether he's there or not, yeah. I stop the explosion. Yeah. And then we kind of go through through that. So. Uh, most likely, I'm thinking, you're just going to try to pile models in there and yeah. sacrifice them for the yep. explosion. Uh, the explosion will be a little bit different because they're funneled in these little U-shaped things. Yeah. It's going to be a Hellstorm template. Yeah, it goes up. Oh. And it's going to be the same thing where it's going to be like strength D. We're still going to roll on the chart. Yeah, we'll exactly roll the, the same thing as the explosion. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be funneled out and yeah. a little bit farther away yeah. uh, explosion. So yeah. it'll do some damage. Yeah, it will. I'll probably sacrifice some... Johnson would sacrifice Marines for this, so... Yeah, absolutely he would. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. So. Yeah, and Alpha Legion will try to do their best to... Uh, stop it from happening. To stop it from happening. Okay, yeah. awesome. Uh, we've got a couple of secondaries. Yes. Um, uh, the first one here we have is the VIP. Mm -hmm. So after deployment, but before the game begins, we will each... Uh, the card says secretly, but we're not going to do it secretly. Mm -hmm. uh, note down a unit. At the end of that game, if the unit is still alive, that person gets a point. Yep. And in addition, the other secondary one is the decapitation mm. secondary mission. At the end of the game, the player who has killed more enemy characters or independent Enemy characters, characters yeah. gain one victory point. Yeah. So this one's going to be relatively low scoring. It is. It allows both of us to kind of, you know, um, get a few points here and there. Yeah, a few points here uh, and there, for sure. De definitely a chance for a tie as well. Okay. Um, if you look at a deployment, uh, I'm deployed in the one corner. Yeah. And uh, I went first, because I'm the defender. Mm -hmm. And then Craig has rolled... A six. Rolled a six, that's right. So he was able to pick whichever corner he wanted to go in. Yeah. He didn't have to deploy opposite, so, so he decided to uh, to pick this one right here. Yeah. Um, he will attempt to seize uh, the initiative and yeah. see if he can somehow go first. But we'll go over the we'll go over the map first. That's right, we'll go over the map. Yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. And then uh, I hope you enjoy the upcoming game. Awesome. I definitely am. Me too. All right. Okay, starting with my HQ choices, I took a Legion Champion. He is my Warlord for this game. Um, he has a Refractor Field, a Tyrannic Greatsword, Artificer Armor, and I did not take a Raid of War, so I did roll on the personal traits for my Warlord trait, and he did get Legendary Fighter. My next HQ is a Chaplain. He's got Artificer Armor, a Power Fist, a Power Maul as his Crozium Arcanum, and that is it. For elites, I have a Terminator squad. It's a five-man Terminator squad. The sergeant has a Volkite Charger and a Calibanite Warblade. The squad has a Heavy Flamer, two Power Fists, and two Chain Fists. For my next elite choice, I took a 
Contemptor Cortis uh, Dreadnought Talonclaw. They have uh, Carries Pattern Assault Cannons. One has a Power Fist with a Combi Bolter. The other one has a Power Fist with a Plasma Blaster. For my first troop choice, I have a 10-man tactical squad. The sergeant has a combi bolter with stasis shells grenade launcher. He also has a Calvinite warblade. The rest of the squad has bolt pistols and chain swords as an extra close combat weapon. The next tactical squad is exactly the same. Calvinite warblade on the sergeant, uh, stasis shell combi bolter, and the squad has extra close combat weapons swords as well. The final troop choice is a eight man Volkite supports Volkite Charger support squad. They have a sergeant, he's just carrying a Volkite Charger. The Alpha Legion army. I've got a chaplain for my warlord. He's got artificer armor, boarding shield, power fist. Uh, in addition, he I rolled tenacity for the warlord trait. For my Alpha Legion ability uh, that I get to choose the mutable tactics, I chose counterattack. For my elites, I've got the Contemptor Mortis Dreadnought. He's got the two carries pattern assault cannons. Another elite, we've got the Larnian Terminator squad. The sergeant has a power dagger chain fist, and the uh, squad itself has one extra chain fist, and then there's a plasma blaster in there. Veteran squad has 10 guys in there, one Meltagun. The sergeant has artificer armor, power fist, and a power dagger as well. That's all they are armed with, and I took the vet's ability that gives them plus one weapon skill. For troops, I've got two tactical squads, 10 men. They're all the same. The sergeants have artificer armor. That's all I bought them. And then the support squad has five guys with plasma guns. Uh, the sergeant is just plain, there's really nothing on him. Okay, so I am going to attempt to seize. Wait, roll. Ooh, I do. Five, no. No, six, yeah, I need six. This isn't Horus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. perfect. So Alpha Legion will go into their turn one. Awesome. Movement done. The Marines open that door and just kind of slid through. And the Terminators moved up with the Dreadnought to kind of bait and or get a nice good shooting lane at those Terminators and Dreadnoughts. The Terminators are going to start shooting. Uh, the Plasma Blaster is in range of his Dreadnoughts, so that's what we're going to go with. So we've got two shots with the Plasma Blaster, looking for threes to hit. Uh, one get hot. Mm -hmm. uh, Terminators okay. And then Strength 7, looking for a... Uh, six to glance. Nothing. The Dreadnought, Contemptor Mortis, is going to fire into your Terminators. He's got some nice range. So 12 shots, looking for twos to hit. That's 10 hits. And then Strength 6, looking for twos mm -hmm. with sixes for rending. So a couple sixes. Whoa, That's a couple a sixes. Okay, so you've got a couple of Terminators there. I do, I have five. Um, yeah, so if you want to do the rendings first, you have your four plus invulnerable, and then okay. we'll see what happens. Let's roll those. Okay, so, so two tour. terminators die. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, and then just armor saves for uh, for the other guys. So I've got one guy before my. Sergeant. You can just roll them, and if it gets to your sergeant, I'm sure you're gonna look at sir. Yeah, I'm gonna look at sir. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No. No. Nope. All good. Well, all two good. terminators is still it's still mm -hmm. awesome. Awesome. We're gonna run the Marines because they don't really have sight or range to anything. One inch, so they're just gonna shuffle over a little bit. Okay, so my Volkite support squad, they have come up and they got into contact with the door. They're gonna try and run in their shooting phase to get in contact with this at the end of their turn. The Dreadnoughts split up because they can. One's going after the, the uh, Glaive, the other one's going after the Terminators. And the Terminator support squad, or Terminators are gonna go up after the Glaive as well. It's gonna be a fairly long run, but you know, or uh, assault, but you know, it's worth a chance. So the term, or the dreadnought's gonna fire at the terminator. So he's gonna fire his Volkite. Uh, his, uh, or carries polar pattern assault can. Sorry, and that was really bad. Uh, does he have five bullet skill? Nope, no, he does not. Because they're cordis, right? And two, two wounds. wounds. So just two armor saves. Two plus. Nope. 
The one nice. guy dies. Oh no. The bolter in his fist. One hit and looking for a four. Nothing. Nice. The other dreadnought's going to fire at the uh, glaive. He's going to fire his carries pattern assault cannon. Side armor's 13. Oh no, that three. Yep. Yeah. And, and you're looking for sixes? Looking for sixes for Renz. Nothing. Uh, no. And then the plasma blaster in his hand. Two shots. Both hit. And then looking for sixes again. Nothing. No. You're going to have to get in close. Yep. Okay, the Volkite squad's going to try and run. Five inches. Five. So they make it in combat. So as he moves those guys, to reiterate, at the end of his turn, he's primed his grenades. And they will not explode until the end of his next turn. Giving me a turn to stop him, which I don't think I'll be able to. I doubt you will. So the Dreadnought's going to try and get into combat with the uh, Terminators. Uh, fails. I think it's a five inch we need. Yeah, you, you roll two dice. Oh yeah, two dice, sorry. <laughs> five, five inch, he makes it. Yeah, yeah so he's in. Uh, that true. Dreadnought need two inches, so he's in. But he's going to roll it anyways, yeah. Okay, yeah. and the Terminators, Terminators are going to... Sorry, let's move this guy in too. Yeah. He's in. And then Terminators needing eight. They're and in they're well. in as at eight, so they get in. So we're going to start with this one. And yep. you said you were picking uh, Rage. Rage. Yep. So he's going to get two extra attacks. Yep. My squad does get counter attack. Mm. So he's going to go at initiative 10 for Hammer Wrath. Hammer Wrath. Yeah. So hits. I will look out, sir, with my chaplain because I don't want him to die. And it's a two plus save, and I make it. Okay, so the Dreadnought's going to attack. He's got five attacks. Looking for fours. Yep. Okay, that's not very good. Nope. And looking for twos. So he wounds. I will look out, sir, because I don't want my chaplain to die. Yep. Unfortunately, it's going to go to the chain, chain fist, fist, but look out, sir. Yeah, and then four plus invulnerable. Yep. Nope, he lives. So that was really lucky. Really bad rolling on your part. Uh, it is. So initiative one, I'm just going to slide my guys in here. So my guys will fight back. Uh, we've got counterattack mm -hmm. or counter charge, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to start with the chain fist. I've got one guy with the chain fist with three attacks and the sergeant with five on the counterattack because mm -hmm. he's got a power dagger and starts with three base. So I'm looking for threes to hit you with hatred because of the oops because of the chaplain. And then your armor on the front is thirteen. Yep. Right. So we're just gonna do uh, that. Is nothing. Nope. Uh, that is a pen. pen. That is a pen. pen. That is a pen. pen. <laughs> that is a pen. pen. So that's four pens. Four pens. And I've got two more chain fists that hit. Yep. That is a pen. And that is a pen. So six pens. And so I'm looking for a six really here. Yeah. So yep. you explode. I explode. Uh, it's a bigger explosion, yeah, right? Yeah, so one plus one inch. So okay, four so inches. four. So I think it's only going to be my terminators and maybe your maybe. terminators while there. Um, no, no, nope. you're just out. So five terminators on your end. Okay. Here you go. You can uh, roll those for me. So you wound three, three, and then we're going to take him on just a regular guy with a power fist. No, we all Darn. live. So the dreadnought explodes. Dreadnought's going to use his hammer wrath. It's on the side armor. So thirteen. Uh, you are strength ten. No, yeah. strength. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven. So, so no. no. So it doesn't do anything. So I get my and then five attacks, auto I hits. I'm going with rage again. Yeah. So auto hits. Uh, you're looking for 12 in the back. So two glances and two pens. Okay. And then the two pens you roll. See if you roll any sixes. No. Yep. So he's, the glaive is down oh, to four. eight. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm auto hitting. So my first uh, attack from my chain fist. First one is a pen. Pen. Second one's um, glance. Glance. Yep. And the third one. So two pens and a glance. So pens. the glance will drop me down to seven. seven automatically. And then the two pens, you're looking for sixes. Uh, no. Oh, one yep. six. Yeah, one six. So that's two more plus D3. Three more, so that's five more. So the glaive is down to two hull points. Okay. And then your power fists auto hit. You've got how many? I've got seven power for seven. Attack. So he's looking for force to glance. Uh, three glances or four glances. So it doesn't matter. It it's explodes. So, so we're we'll, going to throw the. Um, we'll see. We'll roll on the chart. Yeah, right. Right. So it's a D6. Four, four plus. No, three. No. 
Okay, so the uh, glaive exploded. So there's no strength D. No strength Nobody's D. Nobody's in range there. So there's uh, strength 8. So the dreadnought's under strength 8. And then the chaplain and the terminator are under strength 8, AP3. So mm -hmm. let's go back against the dreadnought. Strength 8. So that's a pen. Okay. Um, you, it is considered technically shooting, right? Because it's an explosion. So you do get your invulnerable. Yep. Uh, 5 plus. Nope. Nope. So uh, it can't do... Oh, no. What does it do? Uh, one, so you're shaken. Yep, and I take a hull point. And you take a hull point, yeah. And then on the chaplain and the other terminator, uh, one wound. Uh, okay. You can choose to go against uh, the terminator. I'm going to go against the terminator. <laughs> yeah, it's good. good. And then strength five on the other two terminators. Uh, no, no, no wounds. So just the dreadnought takes a wound, and then you have to roll as well because you did rage uh, yep. to see if uh, you hurt yourself. I'm good. No. Okay, so the glaive exploded. Mm -hmm. It has exploded. And it literally ripped a hole right into in the base. Yeah. Um, you're looking down into the hole and you see a planet or a moon or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's something. Yeah. So now the special rule that comes into effect is open to the void. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make this impassable terrain. Yes. So literally it's a hole. Um, now it's impassable terrain for, yep. for both of us. And now we're open to the void. And now we're open to the void. Now awesome. we're going to really massacre each yeah, other. Yeah, now things are really going to start dying. Awesome. Rolling for reserves, we've got the uh, um, Plasma Support Squad, comes in on three, no, the Veteran, yes, and the other Tactical Squad, yes. So the Plasma Support Squad is going to sit out. Awesome. Tactical Marines, kind of shifted up to get a better firing position, same with the Dreadnought, using kind of the impassable opening there. Uh, the Terminators moved up as well, mm -hmm. and then the I reserves. I wonder what they're going to do. Oh, yeah, they're going to charge whatever survives there. And then the veterans came in on this side. They're just kind of holding position there. They'll probably run. Mm -hmm. And then the tactical squad came in here. They're going to run as well and attempt to open the door. Okay. We're going to do some runs. So the veterans are going to run. That's a six. And then the, the marines right behind them are going to run as well. Roll two. So they're not actually going to make it to the door. So. No. No. The terminators are going to fire into the dreadnought. Because mm -hmm. uh, they want to charge him if he survives. So we've got two plasma blaster shots. Mm -hmm. Two hits, uh, shrink seven, armor 11 on the side. We've got a pen. Uh, you don't get a save from shooting. Nope. So a pen is a three, so you're shaken again and you're yep. down to one hull point. Yes. And then uh, the Volkite, uh, five hits, so it's strength five, mm -hmm. uh, looking for sixes on the side. Yeah, so one more glance, so that actually drops the dreadnought. So yep. he is a wreck. He is a wreck. Now that I've killed him and I can't multi charge, because that was kind of the intention. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Dreadnought will fire into the Terminators, mm -hmm. leaving the other guys behind because the Terminators now are very scary with that heavy flamer. So 12 shots, uh, getting rid of ones, that's four bads. Okay, that was eight hits, so now we're going to roll. Uh, open to the Void doesn't actually take effect um, because you're 2 plus armor. Yep. Yeah, so still rends on sixes, and then regular armor saves. So no rends, so that many armor saves. All your armor saves are 2 pluses, yep. right? So you can just uh, go ahead and roll them all. So you lose the heavy flamer guy. Ah. All right. The tactical marines are going to rapid fire into the remaining terminators. Now again, not open to the void, but I maybe if I kill one guy, that might be good. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna go with uh, 17 shots. Uh, lots of misses there. Mm -hmm. And then strength four, we're looking for force to wound. That's good, that's lots of wounds. Yep. Six, and then you get your uh, two, two up armor saves. Okay, two die, perfect. And then uh, one- I will look out, sir. Look out, sir, on the- Sergeant. On, onto your sergeant, yeah. With the, yeah, you do, so. The Just chaplain's the still alive, but the terminator squad's dead. Okay, that was very effective. Yeah, it was. So I don't actually have any charges because they killed the dreadnought over there, and these guys uh, rapid fired. And the, this dreadnought can't actually get to him. Unless he just leaps the chasm, but we're, we're not going to go through that. <laughs> we're not going to go through that. Okay, the uh, tactical squad and the the, cha the champion that's with them, they come in, and the other tactical squad, they're in as well. Come in. Awesome. So the tactical squad has come in. Uh, they've come in behind the veteran squad. Uh, they're going to try and hurt them a little bit. My champion and his squad have come in over here. They're going to hold back for right now. The Volkite support squad has gotten out of the way of what will be a big flame template and the chaplain has decided to join them because his squad is now dead. 
So we're going to start in the shooting phase. Uh, this squad is going to run two inches. To just shuffle forward a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, so the support squad is going to fire at the terminators. I've got 16 bulkite shots. Looking for threes. Nice shooting. Not bad. Nope. And then I'm going to be looking for threes again because they're strength five. Okay, that wasn't nearly as good. Nope. My Four shooting. saves. So just terminator armor saves. Oh, All they saves. survive. Okay, and then your chaplain. And then my chaplain, his bolt pistol. Nope. Misses. Okay, so my sergeant's going to use his combi, uh, combi weapon, his grenade launcher. He's going to fire at them. Uh, he's got Stacy shells, so he's looking to... Uh, all he has to do is hit. All he has to do is hit. So, rolling. Oof. A couple inches over? Yeah. He misses. He misses. Oh, no. Because he was really looking forward to what? <laughs> minus one weapon <laughs> skill initiative? One, yeah, an initiative. Yeah, because oh. the vets are weapon skill five. Yeah. And, and so I, you don't get your rule. Nope, I don't. The, so all I had to do was hit. All I had to do was hit. too bad. Okay. okay. On to the bolters. Okay, so the rest of the squad is going to fire. Hopefully I can do better than the rest of my shooting has been in this game. Okay, I hit fairly well. Yeah, and then uh, these are shrink four and okay. rending because of the open to the void. Yep. Okay, there we go. That's better. Tally them up. Okay, so rends. So that three misses, yeah. Okay, so the two rends first, so it's just going to kill two of these guys right here. Yep. Okay, and, and then five armor saves. So you've got two guys before my sergeant. Yep. Because he's got artificer armor. So they both and, die. Yep. So, yeah, I'll tank it with the sergeant. Nope, nope he's, he's going to die. He's dead too. And then two three plus armor saves. Okay, so well, that was, uh, that was very painful. unfortunate. Yes. The veterans will test. They have nine leadership. They're okay. They're okay. It's the end of my turn. This is gonna, The bomb's going to go off. It Boom. does not hit anybody. I yeah. got out of the way. He did get out of the way because I didn't really have a chance to get to him yeah. or contest. So, so it that's... explodes. Um, doesn't damage anything. Nope. And you've got another victory point for killing it. Yes, I do. Seeing if my plasma, plasma support squad come in. They do not. They don't. Man, that's like... They just don't want to play. <laughs> they don't want to play. We've got the tactical squad just moved up to kind of block off that objective and to get some shooting into those guys. Uh, the Terminators moved up a little bit closer. They're going to shoot and charge whoever lives. Uh, we've got these Marines opened the door and went around. Mm -hmm. They're going to try to thin a little bit here. Same with the Dreadnought. He kind of moved up and turned around. He can't see many, but... Even if I kill a couple, yep. they'll help, and then the veterans are ready to charge whatever else survives. So, yep. Tactical Marines are going to shoot at your Tactical Marines, so mm -hmm. three pistols can see. So we're going to do pistols, looking for threes to hit, and then we're looking for fours with rending. Okay, one rend. Okay, so that kills him. <laughs> and then just uh, armor save. And good. He's good. So the Dreadnought will fire into the Tactical Marines as well. He's going to be rending on fives and sixes because of the open to the void. Uh, he's shooting through like the land raider and the marine, so you're going to get a five plus cover save. So he hits on twos, and then we're looking for twos with fives and sixes. So, all right, that's great. So three rends, and then a bunch of saves. So if you want to want to make your rends first, so you'll have five plus cover. Okay. And there's three guys before your sergeant, so you don't have to worry about it. So five plus cover. Yeah. Uh, so two die, yep. and then you have a bunch of armor saves. And then if it gets to the sergeant, you can look out, sir. Yep. So it does get to the sergeant, so I am going to look out, sir. Sounds good. Four up. Yeah, you do. So two guys die. These guys now are going to fire into the remaining of the tactical squad. So we've got a melta gun. He's going to attempt to vaporize somebody. He'll miss. Mm -hmm. And then the four pistols there. We've got three hits. And they're looking for fours with sixes to rend. Holy Aww. smokes, two rends. So two marines die. Man, this open to the void has been really good for me. It has. Firing here. So we've got the plasma blaster. Two hits. Two guys are vaporized. We've got Volkites. Two, four hits. So looking for threes with rending. 
uh, three armor safes. So you just get regular uh, three, three up armor safes. Uh, you're good. good. And then the pistol from the chaplain. chaplain. Uh, nope, nothing. nothing. So they're still good. The tactical marines are going to fire pistols into your chaplain and Volkite squad. So mm -hmm. then I can charge you afterwards. So eight guys are in range. That's lots of hits. Six. And then uh, no rending. So two armor saves. You go ahead. I'm going to ch take him on the chaplain because yeah. he's got two up armor. Oh, so he, he takes will one take a wound. Okay. Leadership for my squad that just got decimated. Uh, and they, they fail. fail. Okay, so I think they... Well, they're pretty much going to be running yeah, off. I think you run off the board, yeah. Yeah, doesn't matter what I will. looking forward to uh, <laughs> assaulting them. Assaulting you, but... They're gone. I guess too much damage. Yeah. They thought they were sneaky. Charges. So my Terminators are going to declare charge against the Volkite squad with the Chaplain. Mm -hmm. You're going to make a reactionary fire test to yep. see if you can overwatch a full ballistic skill. skill. So it's... Four or under. Uh, yeah, you have to make an initiative test. At the majority initiative, it says. Yeah, which is four. Which is four. Perfect. So you want to roll four under. You do. Yes. So you full will get to fire full ballistic skill. So the Volkites are following up full ballistic skill. The threes. Nice oh. shooting. Oh. Okay, so strength five with the flag rate. Um, not rending because I have two plus armor. Yep. So go ahead. So looking for threes. Okay, that's pretty good. And then I just have two plus armor saves. If it gets to my sergeant, I'll look up sir. No, I will get really lucky and make every single save. Bolt pistol. Bolt pistol. Misses. No, oh, yeah, hits. Yeah, he's yeah. got five bullet skill. Uh, wounds. wounds. Two plus. Yes. <laughs> Bolt pistol. There we go. It. Bolt pistol does it. So the Terminator falls. Okay, so the Terminator's charge is three inches. So they make it barely with yep. four. And then the Marines behind them have eight. So they need to make an eight inch charge. They do actually. So they're going to uh, move in as well. So we've got one guy here. My chaplain challenged. Yeah, you accepted with the was, was, sergeant. Yep. That's right, because you want your chaplain to do some damage. Yeah, he wants to do some damage. Squad. Yeah, over there. That's right. So it's going to be initiative four or five first. Yeah. Who's so going to be your chaplain first? I am going to use the. Uh, no, actually, I'll use the fist. The fist? Yeah. Oh, okay, so then you'll be initiative one. Yeah. So, so it's then an... it's going to be Marines versus Marines. Okay. Okay, so just to get my my small amounts of attacks out of the way first, we're going to do three against them. Okay. So one, one. hit. And then... Looking for... Uh, That's a wound. wound. So we're just going to do a uh, two plus armor on the sergeant. Okay. Yeah, he's okay. And then the two against my Terminators. They both miss. They both miss. The Marines will fight against your guys, so that's 20 attacks. Looking for a force to hit. That's lots of misses. That's good, right? And then we're looking for about half. Force to wound, and these are rending as well, because it's strength four. All right, so we've got two rends. two rends and three armor saves. So go ahead on the armor saves. How many armor saves? Uh, three armor saves. Three armor saves? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so two, two Marines die. So you're gonna go against my chaplain? Yep. With two attacks. One attack. Oh, and sergeant has two. Sorry, sergeant I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault. And one wound. One wound, okay. So two plus armor on the chaplain. He is okay. So now we're moving to initiative one. My sergeant's gonna get three attacks and he's targeting the Marines. Yeah, chaplain. So he's looking for threes. Uh, hatred. Oh yeah, hatred. Still. No, and then you've got your power fist, so vaporize two models. Yes, so two guys die. Boom. My chaplain will go, initiative one, so four attacks. Looking for threes to hit with hatred as well. And then twos to wound with his power fist, so he's got three. <laughs> so that's one, two, and then one dust transfer to your chaplain. Does and he have an immortal save? Nope, so nope. he's dead. So they're dead, so the terminators don't really need to attack. So we're going to do consolidations. We've got the Terminators, Soleil 2, and one for the Marines. So the Dark Angels have decided they have killed two objectives out of the three that they wanted to kill. And I've been massacred. My, my men are dying faster than I want them to. So we're going to take a tactical patrol. That's right. So those guys are going to, to book it back. Book it back their, out of here. 
ship and hopefully Lion isn't too displeased. Someone might lose a head. Someone might lose a head. <laughs> That's never happened before. No, never. Okay. Good game. Good game. Good game. It was really quick and brutal. It was very bloody very quickly. Yeah, yeah very quickly. So you started off really good. Yep, it did start off really well for me. I yeah, yeah the, you, you, the glaive and the objective he got, I couldn't even come close to the objective. It was yeah. like that run was good. You just kind of got right, right in there really yeah. fast. Yeah. Yeah, but that also left that objective wide open. Yeah, I think he kind of thought about it because you thought maybe your Terminators would push more that yeah, way. Yeah, I did, right? and unfortunately, just a the a volume of firepower that's that went right. into them, and the fact that I couldn't make saves. That's right, you you couldn't. No, like I rolled lots of yeah, lot rends at lots first of rends at first with yeah. the with the carries assault cannon, and then just yeah, 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 yeah. losing them too too fast too quickly. Oh yeah, I was losing them too yeah. quickly, and then. Uh, yeah, I, I was never going to get to the objective. If I came out of there, all I was going to be doing is lambs yeah, to the slaughter. Gonna, yeah, it was exactly. just going to be lambs to the slaughter at that yeah. point. So yeah. making the tactical withdrawal was probably the smarter thing to do. Yeah, so victory points. Let's talk about that. Yes. So Craig, Dark Angels, mm -hmm. had one, two, two. Yep. for the um, objectives. And I yes. had one because it survived for the rest of the it game. It did survive, yep. Uh, then that was your two yeah. points. That's my two. That's right. And then from the secondaries... I've got, I killed more characters, you and independent characters, so I get a point there. Yes, you did. I also, my unit survived, so your unit was Termeers, mm -hmm. my unit was uh, the, the Dreadnought, because the Dreadnought, yep. we wanted to, I wanted him to survive. Yes. So that's two more. Yeah. And then Dark Angels give up a point. Yes. If you lose more units. Yes, and so I, I lost more units. Yeah, and so. I think Alpha Legion is different, I think if you kill more units, they give up a point, so... Mm. Uh, so the to final score was four for the Alpha Legion, two, two for, for the Dark, Dark Angels. Angels. Yeah, so I think Dark Angels are just hopefully don't uh, the lion isn't too upset with them. No, I mean you know, they, they did kill the glaive. I mean yeah, that's yeah, a huge that's deal. A, made a big hole that's got to be fixed. I, I I feel like the sacrifices that were made were worth it killing that glaive because that glaive could have done some major damage. I mean this could be a battle later on down that's the road. Right, that's Who right. Knows? Yeah, so, absolutely. So I mean a glaive is a huge loss. Maybe it, hopefully like we can fix it. Yeah, but I don't know. It looks like there's a, battle, a hole like, went right through. Yeah, it just got sucked right through. Maybe, so. maybe we'll see if we can recover it before <laughs> it hits the planet. So, so yeah, yeah. so yeah. Um, good game. Great, Great game. game again. Thanks a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah. Uh, let us know if you like these. They're a little bit quicker, a little bit smaller. Yeah, they're a little, a little shorter. The games are a little shorter, but they are fun. That's right. Uh, we, can, fun. we can play with the rules. Like, like we came up with our own rules for these, having the the flame like, open up, to the void, open yeah. to the void. Yeah, where we afterwards. Blew, yeah. That's Which right. made things really interesting. I thought it definitely changed the game. It That's changed right. that game after I blew that glaive up. It was a tactical sacrifice because it really worked out in your favor. Th th that's right. Like you were getting a lot of rends on that's me. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah that's true. Um, that's true. But yeah, yeah. I was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It made things yeah. interesting for sure. It was. It was. Well, uh, join us, guys. Go visit the our YouTube channel. Yeah. Check out our Instagram, Bad Tabletop Gaming. Uh, Check yeah. out our Facebook, Facebook group. Yeah. We um, have a Facebook page. Tell us what you want to see. Yeah. If you like these, like... We're really enjoying the Zormortalis. Yes, we have. Uh, this is our one board. I'm building one. I have one. Uh, Bill has He's one. got one, and then Bill's building one. Like, his is almost done, I think. Yeah, his is almost done. Mine's That's right. got a long way to go. That's right. Mine's well, a little more in-depth. It has LEDs in it, and it's going to be it's gonna be a lot of work behind it. Um, well, all the boards have different themes. Yeah. So we're definitely going to have a bunch, and you guys are going to see a lot more of yeah, mine's Yeah, mine's got a uh, very chaos theme. Very chaos thing, like chaos iconography on the base and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. it's very interesting. Uh, but I don't know what yours is. Mine is scratch built. It's um, it's got lots of rocks, rock walls, and, and oh, so it's more of a cave then. It's more of a cave. Oh, That's cool, right. It's cool. more of like an underground installation. Cool. So when we play on my board, well, I mean, we won't be open to the void, but who knows? Maybe it's poison gas. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, or something gas like that. Or something. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. So you guys are definitely going to see more of those because we're definitely very excited. Yeah, about and Zomertals. and we're also we're still going to be doing regular, you know, big big game battle reports right, as well. Yeah. Like so, I think we've also talked about doing thirty two fifty games. Which oh, we're, I mean, I've been hearing about that. I've been hearing people rumors that that seems to be the new standard for fifty. Well, yeah. we'll have to check it out. We'll yeah. have to check it out. It definitely changes the way the game plays. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah, and, and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification button if you want to be up to date. We do uh, 30K battle reports once a month, and 40K, we're starting to pump them out a little faster. That's right. Uh, so, yeah, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right. Thanks. Thanks.